Hey there YouTube, how's it going? I'm coming at you today from the power of my basement gym, if you will. And I've, I've had quite a few questions from people about, uh, well, a lot of things fitness related. And I intend on covering some of those today. Well, so here's the scoop. I'm trying out the whole, like, softbox, lighting, still have something fitness related behind me sort of dealio. So... We're going to try this out as a test trial. I have a specific question that I've been asked that I want to kind of cover to start the whole fitness journey vlogging thing. And I think it'll help a lot of you guys. I get asked a lot what I have in my pantry. And, and I'm not going to go in and raid my pantry and show you guys my pantry because, well, it's not really mostly my foods. It's a lot of family things and you know, stuff I don't really have. But I want to talk to you guys about a bit of a dieting thing that... Personally, I feel is what everybody should be doing no matter what goals you have or anything, really. It's called the Slow Carb Diet. It's created by Tim Ferriss, who if you know me, you know I love his podcast. I love everything that he does, and he's been a great help to not only myself, but millions of people across the world. And I highly suggest you check out his podcast, but that's beside the point. If you have any specific goal... This low-carb diet claims that you can lose 30 pounds in like 30 days, or that the numbers might be off, forgive me, uh, without really exercising. And, and I've tried it to an extent. I didn't go 100% into it. I went about 90% into it. I made small liberties, and I actually made a lot of progress from it. And here's, here's the thing. Dieting is the most important thing that you can do for yourself. Exercise, the, the everything else doesn't matter as much as your diet. If you can't help yourself in terms of dieting, you're not going to see the results that you want to see. And what I mean by that is you cannot out-exercise your stomach. And that essentially is saying no matter how much you exercise, no matter how many calories you burn during your exercise, you will always overeat based on what you can exercise off. So my mother and I actually did a workout the other day. It was a very intense kettlebell workout. And I honestly thought it was great. I... I had a, I had a ton of fun, and it was a really intense workout. We were both sweating profusely, and when we were done, my mom checked on her Fitbit and all of her stuff. And she's like, "We only lost like 150 calories." Well, that I would consider a workout that most people would have a hard time doing. I myself almost gave up two thirds of the way through, and we only lost that amount of calories. One protein bar, one protein shake. 90% of the foods that you eat, oh, excuse me, there's your 150 calories. So there's no use trying to over-exercise and out-exercise your stomach because it's simply impossible. Now what the slow carb diet does is it eliminates all of the, it, it has very low GI, so very low glycemic index foods. Now what that essentially helps you do is it helps your body, first off it's better against, you know, diabetes because I know that the whole blood sugar carb thing is is there so that that helps with that but it also gives you a chance to try a lot of good foods that you may not think are good in a lot of new ways so my lunch every single day and and this is another thing I'm going to touch on a little bit but my lunch every single day is a salad type thing so I have some sliced chicken breast I have some some lettuce some shredded lettuce you can go to the department store or the grocery store I get mine at Myers. It's like a bag of actual shredded lettuce. It's really actually very helpful. Um, black beans, wash them, otherwise they'll be farting all day. And sometimes I'll throw in some hard-boiled eggs. Sometimes I'll throw in some bacon bits. Other sources of protein, essentially. So what that does is it gives me my, my greens, a little bit of greens, my fiber, my beans, my, my proteins, my meats, my eggs have so many good benefits to them. And it, it, it's one meal a day that's consistent. My body knows it's happening, and it's going to get it. Those are the nutrients that I need at that time of day to really push me through the rest of the day. And it's, it tastes good. I'll throw some balsamic vinegar in there. Sometimes I'll throw, a, like, a raspberry vinaigrette. I mean, you can change your dressing. And, and like, when I say that there are small liberties that I took with the slow-carb diet, those would be the small liberties. So the packets that I, come, that I buy for the shredded lettuce come with a... One of them is a barbecue ranch. One of them is like a, I think it's a vinaigrette. It's some some other form. I know that those aren't the best sources of dressing, and, and they're sugary and have additives and, and what have you. But 
If I'm going to have a really good meal like that, that follows the slow carb diet very strictly, I'm going to take that small liberty with the the dressing or it, it I don't think you have to necessarily go all out for a diet in order for it to work. I think if you find where it fits with you, you will find the most success. The slow carb diet says six days, nothing but slow carb foods, one day you pig out. I have a very hard time not pigging out the day after. I can last six days full slow carb, I've done it, but when I have that cheat day, it makes me want to have another cheat day. So I, I take just small, very small liberties like that throughout the course of the week then I don't have a cheat day. I mean, I still do, but I, I don't feel as guilty and I find it, it flows for me a lot easier. For some people, it's very good to be regimented six days on, one day off. If that works for you, beautiful. But Google the Soul Carb Diet, there's a lot more to it. Mexican food, we eat at Qdoba a lot, so if you like Qdoba, you can get a bowl, no carb burrito shell or anything like that. It's just, it, it works, it, I feel, a million times better I operate a million times better and I really hope that you guys can at least look at it whether or not your goal is to lose weight it helps your fit level and it helps you really diet appropriately now with that and the small liberties and all that stuff I am a firm believer that everything is okay in moderation now bear with me I'm not saying you can have one Krispy Kreme donut a day instead of three every other day I'm not getting to that regard but if I'm really craving a soda, I am going to have a small soda with my meal. Like if I'm having a burger, if I'm having this, I'll cut the bun, I'll cut the bread, and I will have a small soda. I, I will take that liberty and I will give a little bit to get a little bit. I have a very hard time just downing water or anything like that with like a sandwich. Like if I'm eating a meat, I need a Dane soda, man. So yeah, but that that's kind of just how I feel about that. But my diet is very simple. I wake up, I have my greens in the morning. Depends upon if I'm using Shakeology at the time or Athletic Greens, whatever the case may be. The slow carb diet suggests you get 30 grams of protein within 30 minutes of waking up. There's also a 20 grams of protein within 20 minutes of waking up, but I try and do the 30-30. So I'll have a protein bar if I really am stretched for foods, otherwise eggs, beans, Sometimes if we're out traveling for work, some sausage patties at the hotel will do. There's always something that you can find that you will be able to utilize to get that done. Meal prepping, key. Grilled chicken breast. I love lean meats. I used to be on the red meats, the beefs, the steaks, stuff like that because I knew that I needed to gain a little bit of body fat, but now I'm trying to, to lean up a little bit, to tone that down. So my, my biggest thing and what I really want to start this fitness vlogging with was diet because you cannot do anything and you will not get any goals if you cannot diet properly and sometimes that is the hardest thing for me it's not for me getting a consistent workout schedule is key but I will talk about that in a future vlog I hope that at least you got a little bit of insight a lot of this video is essentially saying Google the slow carb diet find what you can do and if you can't do it completely or don't feel like doing it completely slowly work into it find a meal or two a week or even a day that you can swap over to a slow carb meal and you will notice within two weeks your body will feel better you will operate better you won't be as sluggish your three o'clock crashes won't happen that's the biggest thing i noticed and it's just a really good way to go about your day so any other links that I find necessary to this topic, I'll put in the description below. I am a Beachbody coach, and, and I sell fitness apparel, as you see on my face. But I'm not going to make this video to plug those places. They'll just be down below in the description, as they will be in every future video. But I hope that this was some benefit to you guys. I want to know what you guys want to hear from me in terms of fitness logs in the future. And I, I'm very excited to bring some of this content to you, because I know that... Not only as I grow with this whole fitness journey, and I will take pictures and before and afters, and I'll do a whole separate video really kind of categorizing and starting the journey once again, because I, I say it all the time, but now I have, and I ask that you guys keep me accountable, tweet me at arbitrarily random times, make sure I'm keeping up with my diet, make sure I'm keeping up with my exercise. I'm working on just getting fit. My, my body fat is about 18% right now, and I'd like to tone that down to around 10 and I'd like to keep the same weight. So we'll take some pictures in, I don't know, maybe a week or so next weekend, maybe, and, and really get a, a, a base point started so that we can move forward. 
you guys can keep me accountable. I can keep you accountable. I actually have one of these hats to give away, this exact one that I'm wearing, and I plan to do something very cool with that uh, in terms of you guys getting involved as well, and, and maybe we'll do a sort of challenge that's not hard or everybody can have a certain plateau, maybe something along the lines of you create a goal for yourself, submit that goal, X amount of time passes, did you get that goal, yes or no? Even if you don't get it, I uh, one thing I like doing is setting goals. Sometimes I know I can get easily, sometimes I know I won't be able to get, because then you can gauge your, pro your progress and really see how well you can handle different sorts of goals and what really works for you moving forward. So. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see more of in terms of fitness and dieting and just overall health and life. I, I don't want this to just be like straight up fitness, like this is the workout you should do, this is the reps, this is the sets, because I think it's different for everybody and I think it's a bunch of bullshit to be quite honest. And yes, I went there and I said that, but it's, it's true. Everybody's body is different and I want to help you more so find what works for you rather than me telling you what works for me and hey, do it to it. So that's going to be the whole overall thing but i also want to help with life coaching and and just overall happiness i think that that i do have things to bring to the table in terms of that and i hope that um we can go forward based on what i see in the comments of this video hopefully so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that this brought you a little bit of insight let me know what you guys think of the slow carb diet if you do something similar what do you do for a diet right now what do you do for fitness right now what are your goals and uh, I will use those three specific categories in the comments below as well as your suggestions for future videos to create future videos, create contests, create things where I can give you guys stuff, maybe psychology packets, maybe G Fuel packets because I do use G Fuel as a, work, a pre-workout and I find it actually the one that works the best based on C4 and Jack 3 d and all those other things. But I'll get into more of that as time progresses, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a great day. I hope that whatever it is you want to achieve in life, today you will go to bed and tell yourself that you are one day closer to achieving that goal. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you next time.